Queen Elizabeth II could be forced to abdicate her throne giving it to Prince Charles due to a heartbreaking health condition, a royal expert has claimed as they said there wouldn't be any other option. The monarch's health has been a growing concern for royal fans as the Queen holds the title for the longest reigning monarch at 66 years and counting. The 93-year-old sparked worry when she was photographed with a large purple bruise on her left hand at Buckingham Palace after meeting Jordan's King Abdullah and Queen Rania. Doctors have since said the bruise was most likely caused by a minor injury as people who age are more prone to bruising. Speaking on Royal Central's podcast, editor Lydia Starbuck said, it does raise questions. Hypothetically in the future if someone who was ruling were to develop a condition like dementia. At what stage can others step in to either become regent or to take responsibility away because often it's a very difficult area that people are capable in some areas of their life and losing abilities in others. Royal expert Brittany Barger added, in the past when dementia wasn't really known we know that had to have been monarchs across the globe who had it. They may have had their child or whatever doing all the grunt work but that was before a time we knew what it was. The media now, if some monarch does get something like dementia, ALS, or any disease like that, I think they would really have no option but to get a regent. Ms. Starbuck added, I think if anything happens it is more likely she will make Charles regent instead of completely abdicating. I think it's very unlikely that she will completely abdicate. As regent, Prince Charles would assume the majority of duties Queen Elizabeth II currently carries out but would not be crowned king until the passing of his mother. The last regency in the UK took place between 1811 and 1820, when future King George IV took over control from his father George III. Royal biographer Phil Dampier believes Charles is already gaining more duties from the monarch. Mr Dampier said, he is starting to do that already, being at the state opening in Parliament and the Commonwealth Conference. He is starting to take over a lot of her duties and doing the investitures. Prince Charles is also believed to have been meeting with the Queen throughout the week to discuss matters of state, with the Prince of Wales also reportedly included in a distribution list of dispatch boxes the monarch regularly receives from Whitehall. Royal author Robert Jobson said the Queen and Prince Charles are already in a period of transition whereby the Sovereign is granting her son with more and more responsibility. Mr Jobson said, the Queen at her next birthday will be 93. She has not completed a long-haul state visit since 2011. Although the Prince of Wales has talked about there only being one Sovereign at a time and that is true, what you do have is a bit of a dual monarchy at the moment and a transition that is ongoing. Queen Elizabeth II is the longest reigning monarch in British history, having been on the throne for more than 67 years. But her son, Prince Charles, could take over her reign before she abdicates, it's been revealed. Elizabeth II became the Queen in 1952, at the young age of 25. She is now 93 years old and still completing royal duties. In September 2015, Queen Elizabeth II became the longest reigning British monarch, overtaking her great-great-grandmother Queen Victoria. The Queen is also the world's oldest currently serving state leader, and will turn 94 on April 21, 2020. The monarch has always been under the opinion she would not abdicate and that her role as Queen is a lifelong commitment. But an expert has now claimed Prince Charles might take over the throne before the Queen abdicates or passes away. However, it would be in a way where the Queen stays on as monarch and simply give her firstborn son more power. Royal expert Monique Blocks told the Royal Central podcast, I think if anything happens, it's more likely she'll make Charles regent instead of completely abdicating. I think it's very unlikely that she will abdicate. Another expert claimed this will happen in about two years time, when the Queen turns 95. Royal author Phil Dampier told Yahoo's The Royal Box, there is talk that when she reaches 95 in a couple of years she may slow down and possibly the Regency Act will be brought in. She will still be Queen but Prince Charles will, in fact, take over most of the duties. He is starting to do that already, being at the state opening in Parliament and the Commonwealth Conference. He is starting to take over a lot of the duties and doing the investitures. 
Regent means a person is appointed to administer a state because the monarch is a minor or is absent or incapacitated. That means Charles would function as Prince Regent for Queen Elizabeth II. But he would not be king in its own form before the Queen abdicates or dies. Prince Charles has already started to slowly fill in for his mother. He has represented her on foreign trips including during her Diamond Jubilee year to Australia and New Zealand. Making Charles Prince Regent would be done by triggering the Regency Acts. In order for the Regency Act to pass, Philip, along with the Lord Chancellor, the Speaker of the House of Commons, the Lord Chief Justice of England, and the Master of the Rolls must agree there is sufficient evidence to support the Queen's request.